Hi friend, today our discussing topic is the anti-pumping relay. The another name of the anti-pumping relay for the abbreviations we are using the 94. 94. 94 relay is the anti-pumping relay. What is the anti-pumping relay? What is the purpose of using the anti-pumping relay and uh, the working principle of anti-pumping relay? Today our discussing topic. So the anti-pumping relay is very important for the uh, safety for the uh, property loss savings and for the hunting effect prevention. So this is the closing path. We should have to remember that the anti-pumping relay is used parallelly with the closing path of any circuit breakers used in the world. So the anti-pumping relay is most important to uh, prevent the damage of the closing coil interrupters or the safety of the working personnel in the substations or wh uh, wherever you using the circuit breakers for the protection uh, uh, aspects is concerned. So this is the closing path of the circuit breakers. We are providing the closing command from here. Uh, um, through the interlock anti-pumping NC contact this is the spring charging NC contact upper the fully spring charged this is the normally 52B is normally closing contact the resistance and the close coil and this path if we providing the closing command and the um, uh, local remote selector switch in local positions then the breaker will be closed accordingly if any problem if any problem in the TNC switch, TNC switch, then the uh, problem of the circuit breaker uh, again and again closing and tripping uh, problem will be uh, happening, will be happening or occurred. So for the betterment, I have draw this circuit, simplified circuit for your uh, better understanding. Let's start this drawing discussions. For the simplification or the better understanding, I have draw the two circuit. One is the simple closing circuit and other is the uh, with anti-pumping relay parallelly connected with the closing coil circuit. The first circuits I discussed about that this is the TNC switch, trip, neutral, close switch, 52B is the auxiliary contact and this is the normally close contact that is used in the closing path. This is the R is the resistance and CC is the closing coil. And we are providing the positive from here. And if we uh, turn the switch from the normal to normal positions, always getting the DC and the normal position to C position, the DC will be through from 50 to air B, R and the closing coil will be energized and the breaker will be on. If any problem or any fall persists in the systems, the breaker, uh, breaker then uh, tripped instantly or auto tripped will be energized if any problem in the TNC switch suppose the TNC switch struck in the C positions and the always the DC is just passing through this uh, path and the uh, outside of the breakers uh, that um, problem is just persisting so breaker again and again the breaker will first energizing the closing command th and then the tripping command closing command tripping command closing command tripping command so the this uh, pro procedures will be continuing uh, continuing uh, and um, up to the closing coil will not be uh, will damaged closing coil will damaged and breaker will be damaged so the uh, procedures will be stopped so this call is the hunting effect of the breaker to minimize or to avoid the hunting effect, we are using the anti-pumping relay parallelly with the closing coil and the 52RB relay. This is a simplified circuit of the anti-pumping relay. The, we are providing the positive from here. This is our TNC switch and uh, this is the 52RB NC contact resistance closing coil and we are using parallelly the anti-pumping relay coil. Uh, a1 a2 94 this is the anti-pumping relay and we are using a contact with series with the closing path this is the a no contact this is the nc contact normally closing contact 
so uh, when we providing the closing pulse from here this is the nc contact nc contact this is the resistance and the closing coil the closing uh, of the circuit breaker uh, circuit breaker will be on accordingly if any problem persist in the systems the breaker instantly tripped instantly tripped instantly uh, tripped so no problem uh, they are when the breaker uh, is uh, for instance uh, of time the breaker is on 52 where b will be no and 52 where a will be nc then then again the 52 where b will be nc and 52 where a will be no so no problem here but if the any problem in the tnc switch or in the dc systems the uh, continuing dc uh, is providing uh, to this path if this um, um, handle will be struck to the c point and the c point will getting um, the dc continuously then uh, then the problem will be happened again and again the hunting effect will be uh, starting so to avoid the hunting effect we are using the anti pumping relay uh, when this problem will be happened um, uh, so uh, the dc will through this point and this uh, 94 relay will be energized if the 94 coil will be energized this contact will be open nc to no normally open the converter to the normally open and this path will be cut it from getting the dc and we will uh, safely um, we, we can save the closing coil uh, auxiliary contact resistance and the path of the closing so this is a anti-pumping relay is auxiliary type relay it's protect the closing coil it's breaker from the breaker damage or the safety the most important part is the safety of the working personnel and it's uh, prevent the hunting effect so friend if you interested to show my technical video Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updated technical video and obviously share my video with your friends and colleagues. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you.